Hey everyone, welcome back. And today we're going to do a little Ethereum merge follow up, a little post coital Ethereum merge action, three way style. Anyway, as we already talked about, Tim Baiko, I'm not sure, Tim Baiko, I'm going to say, of Ethereum, sex crypto god himself. Tim Baiko, right there he is, probably somewhere in Chinatown. I can't quite tell, but he's out there feeling all ethed up. But anyway, he posted a few days ago that the Ethereum merge is not happening, but he didn't really clarify, But uh, which makes sense, right? Whenever you're doing software development on an application that's already fielded and deployed, when you have major users like NFTs, which are pretty much crap and a scam, be careful of them, and then there's DeFi and other stuff and investors, you don't just want to push it out. Hey, first one wins. No, these guys have got to be very careful. If they push something out, they're going to screw everything up, cost people lots of money, and, and just pretty much upset their current user base. Uh, they don't care about miners. That's fine. But the guys right now doing DeFi, NFTs, and building upon uh, this uh, Solidity, Ethereum platform, building, you know, blockchain stuff, contracts, writing code, blah, blah, blah. They're going to be not too not too pleased with this. So they got to be very careful and they got to do it right. And they got to get it right the first time. All right, let's go down. So he posted a few days ago, the Ethereum merge, the merge to the proof of, the proof of stake is not happening in June. Okay, let's go down and read through the old... The old Twitter thread. Boy, I hate Twitter. I use it anonymously. I don't have an account. You just got to go and go to Twitter and you can just search for whoever you want to follow. And I just bookmark it. I go in and say, hey, let's see what Tim's saying today. Let's see what Elon Musk is saying today. And that's how I roll. I just think Twitter is bad news as a human. But uh, you can pull a few good nuggets out here and there. But participating in the cesspool that is Twitter is not advised for the normal critical thinking human. I advised against it. Uh, let's see. Uh, how about Joe? We're talking about this guy, Joe. He may have thought the uh, merge was set as a target, but he's definitely not pressuring devs. Ooh, so what I do is say, what is he talking about? Let's click on this thread. Kablamo. Yeah, let's close this out. So then you can scroll back. All right, there was his thing. You can scroll up and say, what is the uh, context of this conversation? Tim Baiko confirms delay in Ethereum merge from Coindesk. Uh, says update not likely until the fall. I don't even think he said the fall. I just think he says it's not happening in June. So according to Ethereum core developer Tim Baiko, the network's much anticipated shift to proof of stake isn't likely to come until the fall. I don't think he said that anywhere other than I, in the tweet, all I wrote is not happening in June. Uh, then this guy, Engelbert Doof, Doofusnut, says, uh, why is Joe Lubin putting this kind of public pressure on ETH devs, publicly saying June or July? If I was an ETH dev, I'd be pretty blessed. Uh, it seems like a very dysfunctional operation. No, when, dude, Engelbert Pumper Douche, uh, if you have never worked in software dev, you just don't have a clue. You got to have pressure to get people focused, marching together in the same direction and getting stuff done. And uh, no crybabies allowed, right? You got to get stuff done. If you're sensitive and you need a little safe space, get out. That's what we do. We kick them out. We go, go serve coffee. That's where you're useful. You're not useful writing code if you're not going to not gonna man up and get her done, right? That's the way we roll in our shop. Uh, let's see. Then here's Timmy. I haven't heard anything from Joe, by the way. In my experience, he's never been anything but supportive and responsive. He may have thought this was set as a target, but he's definitely not pressuring devs. And the devs are already under pressure. You know, they don't need any more pressure. Just... Leadership needs to have a focus, a plan, and they need to be transparent and um, empowering to their devs to make it a success. If you roll with uh, like an authoritarian management style, pyramid top down, it's not going to work. It's got to be everyone's in it. Everyone's got to be on the same page to get it done and have the mission focus. Uh, no douchebags allowed if you're a douche, which is number one rule in life is don't be a douche. If you are a douche, correct pivot and become a non-douche because being a douche is going to get you zero. All right. At this point, several months push isn't a big deal. Do what you need to do. Everyone in Twitter is just so awesome. I just hate Twitter, man. I'm sorry. I hate Twitter. All right. Uh, they're just blabbing on, blabbing on. Let's go back. Let's go back to the future. All right. There's little Timmy's thing. So Timmy goes down. 
And then Timmy clarifies. Timmy clarified eight hours ago. This is for reference date. What are we in? I don't even know what year or month we in. I've lost track of all the time. 14 April. Oh, day before. I'm oh, getting close to tax time. Better do your taxes or the IRS is going to come knock your door down, shoot your dog, and take your kids. You know, that's the way they rule now under the new administration. Uh, we are now no longer a free country. Uh, well, yeah, almost there. Almost non-free. But uh, 14 April, baby, pay your taxes or you're going to be in the gulag. So here we go. Timmy says, did not expect my tweets from yesterday to cause such a reaction. Uh, I don't know. That's an icon of a smiley guy with sweat on him. He's sweating. He's nervous. Oh, no. All right. I preach that it can be hard to parse the progress on the merge. They should call it the purge. Just call it the purge. And then devs that don't do their job, they get purged. Yeah, that'd be awesome. All right. I'm calling it the ETH purge. And uh, devs, devs, you're on notice. <laughs> no. Uh, hey, if you're under pressure and they're making your life miserable, you are a scarce commodity as a software engineer that is not a douchebag and uh, can actually look at other people's eyes and say hi. If you can do that, you are going to make a lot of money and be successful. And you can go to any company, well, any non-douchebag company. There's a lot of bad companies out there, and I have a list. All right. Uh, let's go. Let's see. Try to provide some context here. Let's click on this, baby. Let's click on this and end this video. It's too long already. So he said, I didn't expect my tweets to uh, from yesterday to cause such a reaction. I appreciate that it can be hard to parse progress and the merge, the purge, when you are deep in the process. Try to provide some context here. You know, Timmy, sometimes it's best not to tweet at all. Less said, keep people guessing. You don't have to be tweeting out your status. You don't have to say, oh, I just took a dump. Oh, I just went and drank some coffee. Stop it. Just keep it to yourself and just keep working, man. Why do you want all these attaboys? Is that you're, you're, you're tweeting for the LOLs or what? Do you, what's the deal, man? Everyone wants that affirmation that they're awesome by tweeting. It's so stupid. I guess daddy didn't hug him enough. Anyway, when will the merge, I can't even say it now, I'm thinking purge. When will the merge happen? Uh, there is no official date for the merge yet. A date will only be set once client teams are confident that software implementations have been thoroughly tested and are bug free. No software is ever bug free. No software is ever attack virus uh intrusion free. I mean, it, there's just no way. Any date announcement will be communicated on blog.ethereum.org. So dude, why are you freaking tweeting everything on Twitter? You're, don't stop it, man. Just get off Twitter, delete your account, and just work on your job and making Ethereum great, okay? You're, you're causing more drama and more stress for your devs, and you're confusing everybody, right? Just stop it. You're almost worse than Elon Musk tweeting about crypto. Just stop it. All right, what needs to happen before the merge? All right, as of April 2022, all client teams have in-progress implementations for the merge. Quit saying the merge, man. Every time he says the merge, everybody, you got a drink. Get a drink, get a shot, get a bourbon, uh, which have been tested by test suites, the launch of new test nets, and shadow forks. Shadow forks. Uh, sh shadow forks run against both existing test nets and the Ethereum mainnet have revealed implementation issues in clients uh duh teams are now fixing these and regularly rerunning shadow forks to test fixes they're starting to snowball and like spin upon themselves on their axis you know wrap themselves around the axis because they're fixing and making new stuff and fixing it's just going to snowball and snowball and get more difficult to get this release out as you're fixing bugs you're trying to make new features and it's just not possible while you have an operational fielding system. It's a nightmare. I've been there and it's not ideal and you're gonna end up delivering a faulty product and it's gonna probably irk a lot of people and cost them a lot of money. You guys gotta slow down and stop tweeting. Jeez, man. All right, once clients work without issues during shadow forks, then the existing Ethereum test nets, Robston, go early, whatever, will be run through the merge. An announcement will be made on blog Ethereum.org at this point. Well, you seem to be freaking tweeting about everything you do. All right. Once test nets have successfully upgraded them and remain stable, then oh, we bolded it. Then, then a time will be set for the upgrade to happen on the Ethereum mainnet, not Skynet, but mainnet. Oh my God. I'm almost 10 minutes into this stupid video. All right. The merge, unlike previous Ethereum upgrades, will not be triggered by a block time. Instead, it will be triggered by a total difficulty value. Dun, dun. Uh, all right, the difficulty blammo, right? Given these are harder to estimate than 
block times the delay between choosing a time for the merge and it going live on the network may be slightly shorter than prior Ethereum upgrades. So it's the merge, but it's the purge for crypto miners. The purge for the GPU miner, it's gonna, it's gonna be the heyday. It's gonna be known as the, um, the blackout, like in Blade Runner 2049, they, they had the blackout, which wiped everything, all the data and everything. And that's what is gonna happen when Ethereum goes to the merge and the proof of stake, the GPU mining world will be, will be blacked out. It'll be old, it'll be the, an era of the past. I don't know. I don't know. You still might mine other coins, but I don't know. It's not looking too too promising, but we'll see. Until then, keep mining Ethereum. There you go. Buy new GPUs? No. I just did a search on uh, 3060 Ti Founders Editions, a 2000 and they are way over MSRP. And the ones that are MSRP, of course, at uh, what the hell is that crappy company? Uh, Butt Buy, Best Buy. Uh, they're always out of stock because why? You know why. The retail bots have their bots sniffing and they always grab them up right away. And those are the guys that take those ones that got an MSRP and they resell them on StockX for double and crappy eBay for double. And that's how they roll. And that's fine. Until no one wants them anymore, they're going to have a lot of boxes sitting in their mommy's living room and they don't know what to do with them. So they may have to sell them, my God, for MSRP. But as you as a miner, do you want to buy them then? I'd wait till they, they beg for you to take them. I'd wait till they go below MSRP. Like a 3060 Ti should go under 400, man, eh, what are they, 399? MSRP, they have to go under 400 bucks to be considered. A list of tax to be completed before the main and upgrade can be found here. I can't click it, I can't click it, Captain. Anyway, there we go, a little merge Ethereum drama, a little post-coital Ethereum merge update with our sex god, Tim Bico. Uh, my advice is just focus, take your time, do it right the first time, and quit tweeting, man. Just quit tweeting and causing all the stupid, you know, confusion. Well, what do you mean? But nowhere did I hear him say this fall. He just said it's not happening in June. You know what? It could happen July 1st. Eh, you know what I mean? You don't know what's going on. You don't know the motivation behind these guys. A lot of the guys hold Ethereum, and the faster they can get this puppy to proof of stake, the more money they can start making through staking. Yeah. All the money. Money is the motivator in the world. All right, guys, I am out. Just a little cool video, a little fun video. Don't worry about it. Just keep mining. Uh, try to squeeze out more efficiency on your GPU rigs you have. If you don't feel you're going to want to be in the game, now is the time to sell your GPUs if you don't want to stick with it. If you think it's going to fall off the cliff, which it may when POS happens, who knows when it's going to happen. Again, they don't have a timeline and they're not being forthcoming on that. It's going to be every two weeks, every two. It's like it's like the stuff they do right now. Every two weeks, every two weeks. It's like stop treating us like kids. Um, yeah. So right now the GPU resale prices are high. If you feel you don't want to be in the game anymore, dump them, sell them, get your money back. Get us, you, you'll make your money back most likely. Uh, put them on eBay. Again, eBay will charge you 14%. So you're going to lose that right off the top. And you may get a scammy buyer. So you got to watch that. If you sell them in person on Facebook Marketplace, you may deal with a shady character. If you do, my advice is always, no matter what you're selling, meet in a police station's lobby and just tell them, I want to sell something. They say, They're all cool with it. The cops get it. They know there's bad players out there. Better be safe. All right. That's just my little word of wisdom from the real world. The IRL, baby. Rocco Taco, IRL. Reselling in real life. Oh, my God. The fear. Oh my God, I would just rather pay the 14% on eBay than deal with someone in person uh, to exchange that much money. All right, we're out, guys. Go home, wherever you are. Go back to your wives, leave your girlfriends, or go to your girlfriends, leave your wives, whatever. Whatever turns you on, it doesn't matter. You got to do what you got to do. Uh, you should never got married in the first place, but that's another story. Because uh, you get divorced, guess what? You made all this crypto. She now is going to take most of that crypto with her. Who are the most wealthiest women in the world today? Steve Jobs' widow, uh, Bill Gates's uh, divorcee ex-wife, and who's the other one? Bezos. These three women are wealthy. And who are the women now? The the crazy women at Disney. They're all heiresses to the Disney fortune. It's nuts. You know, they all just get this money. They don't make it. They're going to take your money. So that's my uh, that's my uh, big daddy big daddy advice to the young guys out there. Don't get married, dudes. All right, I'm out. Take care. A little crypto life experience update for you. Take